Hello, um, I'm here again with Marco and with Simon and today we are talking about how to keep a sales team motivated. Um, big question, I appreciate there's a lot to discuss in this and it's not an easy one to, to answer. Marco, you've run a sales team, um, so talk, talk to us about some of the things that you did to, to keep the levels of motivation up within that sales team. So I think firstly, one of the things that we've got to identify with, with a team of uh, sales agents specifically is actually what motivates them. Mm. So we can talk about the why, but the most important thing, especially with the guys out there, is, is actually what motivates them. So initially, it, they're salespeople. The one thing um, ac across the board with salespeople, as you guys know, is, is money, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So we've got to identify how we reward them, when we reward them, and why we reward them. Um, and of course, that comes down to commission. So that would be one of the biggest things that we've looked at initially is, is, is that commission piece. Can I touch back on money just before we move on from money? Obviously things like base salary and progression and the ability to mm. earn more money count as well. How, what have you learned in managing a sales team around how to structure that and how to make sure that people understand how they can earn more money, not just in commission. Yeah, absolutely. Because that security is important to people too, isn't it? Of course, yeah. And, and you're absolutely right. It's the progression as well. Mm. So what we don't want is a flat structure whereby someone gets to a certain point um, and there's no progression. They mm. can't see that end goal. So it's all about creating a structure whereby people know what's next. Yeah. They have certain parameters. They have certain targets that when they hit, they can mm. get to that next level. Yeah. And of course, the commission will, will, will jump up with those certain, yeah. certain barriers or whatever, or, or levels of structure. Um, so yeah, you're absolutely right. Mm. It comes down to the responsibility. It, it, of course, it is the commission. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's what's next in their, in their sense. They're looking forward, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. So what are your thoughts? Motivating salespeople. What do you do? It's a big topic, isn't it? Mm. I mean, I think it's changed a lot over the years. It used to be extremely financially driven, I think. As, as the teams, as we are onboarding the teams, it becomes down to purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, it becomes down to their ambition. It can even go down to job titles mm -hmm. and yeah. progression. Um, we've seen, seen a big change in that. Um, and really, they've got to get up. I mean, someone said, I can't remember who, you know, you don't, you don't get out of bed every day and mm. want to get on the phones, you mm. to get a load of nose back. So you need to have that culture there in the first place. Um, and I think they've got to have their purpose. So it's not just about that, it's about their own progression. They've got to see a ladder in front of them. They've got to have role models within the business. Mm. They've got to have reasons to stay. Um, and I think they've just got to find their purpose within mm. the culture of the organisation. What about the tools we give them? Because mm. the more successful a salesperson is, yeah. the more likely they are to enjoy what they're doing to stay. <clears throat> And they, of course, are uh, defining their own success by their own work. But if we give them the yeah, wrong absolutely. tools to work with, or the wrong strategy, or the wrong target market, or the wrong technology mm -hmm. to work with, that holds them back, and that can be frustrating. Absolutely. I guess we've seen that in the past as well. So how can we help make sure they've got the right tools and the right things in place? It's a very good point, and actually something that we've um, we've developed. So, <clears throat> as you know, salespeople, you know, they want to, they want to be in an environment which allows them to be the best salespeople they can be. Mm. They don't want to faff around doing hours of admin. They don't want systems and processes and, and these long drawn out, you know, mm. um, the tick box exercises. So we, what we've done is allowed them to have an environment whereby everything is systemized for them. Yeah. So they can, you know, they can do what they're, they're mm. best at, which is selling at the end of the day. And they've got good bits of technology that exactly. help them to achieve more. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's about streamlining the process mm -hmm. and making it work for them so that they can have higher levels of productivity, exactly. they can be more efficient and therefore be more effective and be ultimately having more sales conversations. Which it's got to be fun, isn't it? I mean, that, that's one of the main things, mm. it's got to be fun. We work with a lot of tech startups who suddenly get their money and then need to create a, a sales team very quickly. Yeah. Very hard to motivate someone if they're sitting there on their own or with one other with limited targets, limited progression, everything else. So to keep them motivated, I think, you know, it, it does have to be fun and mm -hmm. they've got to have that, that culture in there where they're all helping each other. Mm -hmm. We go back to the sales titles and everything else. I know all the guys now are getting accredited with ISM, mm -hmm. you know, Institute of Sales and Management. And that looks good. It makes them feel good. It makes them have a purpose, um, look good to their peers or mm. LinkedIn on social media, that motivates them. Yeah. I think, you know, we go back to the fact that small pay rises, if someone's going to stay for a small pay rise, they'll go eventually. Yeah. There's got to be a whole yeah. plethora of other reasons to stay mm. from well-being to socials to everything else. Incentives. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's got to be fun. It's got to be a place where they want to come and work. Mm. One of the things that I've that, well, it's obvious, I suppose, but the, probably the big, biggest thing that impacts on somebody's motivation in the sales team is the leader. Yeah, it's the person that, that they're responsible for because, you know, you can have all the best incentives in the world. You can have the ability to earn an extra grand, five mm. grand a year. You have a great commission structure. 
But if you're working for the wrong person, if that person that leads your team is, uh, is someone you don't connect with or you don't trust or you don't respect or yeah. you don't believe in, it's very difficult to come to work every day, Absolutely. isn't it? This is where we have to compliment is. Owen, isn't it? Mm. This is, this is no. no. No, no. <laughs> no we're so lucky. We've got such a I think it's, you know, it's, it's critical that you hear people say that people don't leave a job, they leave yeah. a leader. Yeah. And it's the little things that a leader does, isn't it? So it's the pat on the back to say, well done. It's the... the Catching people doing the right things. Absolutely. Going and buying your coffee just to mm -hmm. say, thanks, well done for getting that over there. It's not... You've earned your commission, you've earned your salary, you're doing your job. But actually, I'm just going to do something that that, that that takes the time to acknowledge how good yeah. a job you're doing. And being a role model and being consistent and mm -hmm. turning up and you know doing the same things day in, day out. You, know, yeah. you have to be that role model and they will have their own role, uh, own, own role models yeah. in their own team. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. And I think we can't get past that. It's the leader who sets the climate. It's the company Absolutely. that sets the culture. So when we look at culture and climate, culture being the things that we do, so they can win that holiday, they earn that commission, they earn that salary, we give yeah. them this technology, we go and have beers on a Friday afternoon. The climate being, how does it feel? Mm. How does it feel on that sales floor or in amongst that sales team? Yes, okay, everybody in that team is contributing to that, but the leader is holding that responsibility. And for me, it's the little things that they do day in, day out, mm -hmm. consistently, that impact on that climate. Is it positive? Is everybody buying into them and wanting yeah, to follow them? Or are they bringing it down? Celebrate the successes, as we all know. So when mm. you hear the bell going off and then we see the incentives, so the successes are being celebrated. But I think the real art, come in, the, the real art comes from when, you, when people get no's and rejections mm. and everything else. You look at rugby, someone does something wrong, the rest of the team are over there hoiking them up and telling them to get, get on, on with it. it. And, yeah. and we've seen a real change in that on the pitch. I think mm. that's the same here, you know. You're going to have five no's sometimes before you get the yes, but you celebrate the no's because mm. everyone's getting closer to that yes. And I yeah. think that's what the team do well. What about no-no's? So we've probably seen some bad examples over the years of people trying to motivate yourself to get yeah. it wrong. Is there anything that you've seen that stands out in, uh, in, in sort of the things that you should avoid? I think it's the inconsistency. Mm. Uh, I think it's, um, you know, as, as we all know, we have friends at work. We, we, some people we like, some people we don't necessarily get on well uh, as well as. And I think it's the inconsistency around how we treat people in the office, especially yeah. from a leadership perspective, yeah. you know, <clears throat> for, for, you know, it, it needs to be consistent. Mm. And I think that's, that's, you know, something that you so love from yeah. and um, is, is one of the no-nos, I would say. And Simon, without any, naming any names, any, any sort of bad leaders you've worked um, for in the past in sales roles? Uh, I think the only bad leaders, well, yeah, but the, <laughs> only, the, the only bad leaders come where I think they go through a one cat fits all and mm. they want their, their exact version and if you don't, if you're not mini-me's of them then you don't fit. Yeah. I think what we're seeing now is that there are so many different skills for different people. The art is being flexible, isn't it? Mm. It's under mm. a few things up your sleeve. Um, and I think as a leader you go for, you know, you don't hire someone to tell, to, you know, to, to mm. tell them what to do. Really, you hire really good people so that they tell you what to do better. Um, and we look at the different skills that we've got mm. on, the, on the floor right there. So yeah, I've worked, um, actually I've been quite lucky, um, but I, I have seen in the past that when people try and recruit exactly what they are, it, yeah. it limits <coughs> what the availability is. Fantastic. Well, like always, I think we could keep on going with this mm. topic for a long time, yeah. but I think there's some good stuff in there. And if you're thinking of ways to motivate a sales team uh, and you want to discuss that with us or you want to share any ideas, then you can put some comments below and we'll happily engage in a discussion. And thanks for being here today.